Welcome everybody to Games Cast by Panda in a Row. If you wish to see more comedy games, please follow my YouTube and Twitch pages below. Welcome everyone to a ranked game. And a rather interesting one of that is we have at least one or two unusual picks this one. We have a Riven up top. Graves, Leona bottom lane, Lisa in the jungle, and a Cassidin in the middle lane. Ringar in the jungle, Miss Fortune, Lulu down bottom. Dyrus up top and a Diana in the mid. I'm really curious to see how this Cassidy fares against Diana. Because I have not seen a whole lot. Graves picks up first blood as we enter this game at the four and a half minute mark. That Graves Leona combo is absolutely devastating and a personal favorite of mine. As both of them need to get up close and Leona just sets him up so perfectly for the big damage. Looks like Cassidy is going to be chunked down here. Ringar throws. His bowl is out, but it, Cassidy just has to flash away. Ringar should come back in here for a gank in a moment. Lucid is going to pick up his blue. A fairly light blue at that, and does not even kill the minion off, so it will not start resetting just yet. Ringar is going to come up top, having spotted Lee Sin out. Riven does not get pulled in and should be fairly safe at this point. Lulu is down here, chunking Graves out for some damage, forcing him to go back. Looks like Riven will try and get onto this Dyrus as Lee Sin does get there. Will he land his Q? Yes, he does, and Lee Sin will pick up the kill. And the nice heal from Riven keeping Lee Sin at fighting shape in case Rengar was trying to do anything. But they will have to back out after pushing this wave to the tower. The score is 2 to 0 in favor of the blue team. With Graves and Lee Sin picking up the two kills rather early. Kasten doing pretty well at 36 CS leading the game. Miss Fortune second at 31. And Miss Fortune should do a fairly good job against this Leona Graves as long as she realizes we can't fight here. We have to just farm and farm and farm and then eventually team fight. Looks like Lulu is trying but Leona will just jump in there and this is a dead Lulu. No questions asked. And this might be a dead misfortune, but no, Leona's cooldowns were still down. Riven is going to jump in here onto the Darius, and she should have a fairly easy time of this early game. She just needs to smack him a few more times. I don't think she's going to get in a night range. Her night is not even up at this point. Lee Sin is going to come down here and try and dive misfortune. Will misfortune actually fall for it? I think she's going to just stay back under her tower. She's not even going to go up there and try and CS. That is a very wise move. She just needs to stay here. Lucin will try and dive her if this wave gets too far, but Lulu has arrived, and that should keep her safe. But here comes the dive. Looks like Lucin with a beautiful combo. No chance for that misfortune, as Leona set that up beautifully. Lucin will go down. But a kill on Lulu means that much. And Riven does take down Darius up top. And that is a big lead for the blue team. Six kills to one. Looks like Diana has come down bottom. But Diana is not going to be able to do anything. Diana is the same level as Graves. This is pretty bleak for the red team at this point in time. They just don't have the characters to really fight early. And they can't. They can't. Diana gets absolutely obliterated down here. Ringar's going to try something, but Leon's cooldown should be up in a moment. And he wisely backs away, not feeding another kill to this absolutely ridiculously strong blue team. And this is without a whole lot of action from their middle lane, as Kassadin is one of the best roamers in the game. He just hasn't had to roam. The other lanes have taken care of themselves, all going fairly solid early game comps with Leona Graves being an amazing early game, Riven being almost exclusively early game, and a very nice roamer as well. Rengar is going to try and come down here bottom lane, or possibly even get this dragon, but Lee Sin will be there to kind of deter that. And it looks like Riven is going to fight Darius up here. He does not get hit by the apprehend, and she should easily just back away and fight. Leona does come down here as Lee Sin. Comes in here to fight Lee Sin, should get an either kill on Misfortune. And this Misfortune cannot do that. Nice Leona all perfectly played onto Lulu. Riven does get a kill up top onto Dyrus. And yeah, this is snowballing completely out of control at this point. 
Diana is the only hope for the red team. And I'm not sure that's such a great hope at this point. Leona will go down here. Or maybe not. As she does get away thanks to the least sense shield. But the ultimate from Diana does get the kill. But here comes Cassidy and it should be a dead Diana. They don't have the CC to go after Lulu at this point. But, or maybe they're just going to say screw it and go after her. Yes, they do. And Lee Sin gets away just in time. Castadin jumping away at the last second to avoid his own death. And it is 12 to 2 with a 5,000 gold lead at the 9.5 minute mark. And this just comes down to picks at this point. And the fact that the red team is not playing passive enough. They're not playing their picks properly. I should say, instead of the picks themselves. The red team needs to realize our job is to stand back and farm. The blue team has such an amazing early game team with amazing roam power. We just have to farm and let the game go to late. We might be down a little bit, but our team is much better late game. Misfortune missing the alt down bottom and does not get the p kill onto Graves. Riven diving the tower at this point. The nice apprehend pulling her back and getting some fair bit of damage. But still, Darius took the weaker trade out of it. Right now, it looks like Leona. No, Leona's not the only thing. Looks like Rengar is up here to attack onto this Riven. And Riven will get taken down here. But though the heal will keep her alive, but the dunk from Darius. Diana also had to go all the way up top as well to ensure that kill. It would take three people to kill your Riven up top. Riven's doing her job. Riven's job in all of these games looks like Lee Sin will get this kill on Rengar with a nice kick. Lee Sin didn't realize that Rengar was just going to go get the golems. So let's ambush him at golems. He's and back to what I was saying about Riven. Riven's job is to split push top and win the top lane. She wins top lane, she can either roll she needs to roam middle and keep split pushing top. She's one of the best duelists in the game. Through pretty much the entire game, with the exception of people like Irelia and Jax, who will eventually outscale her. She just needs to sit up top, keep that lane under control, make sure that you keep killing whoever's in that lane or forcing them back. And as soon as you do that you pretty much done your job. You split push, you keep them down, keep your top lane down. Looks like Leona is going to try and get a fight here. I don't think it's the wisest idea. As it is fairly deep in the territory, Lulu does pop the ultimate, knocking multiple people up. Lee Sin does come here. And the big ultimate by Gray is finishing everybody off. Lee Sin is still here. Here comes Diana. Misfortune getting pretty low. Gray's focusing on her, and there's another. Fuck shot by Graves finishing people off. And that is a full ace as Riven finished off one up top. And that is a five for one. They are just, blue team's just so fat at this point. There is nothing they can do except win this game. They could even start diving base towers at this point. They are so far ahead. This Graves is 9 0 oh, 3 with a Bloodthirster finished. And he can go by a Zeal as well at 13 minutes. That is ridiculous. Especially when he's compared with Leona, who amplifies Graves' damage so much and allows Graves to get full buck shots off and his collateral damage ultimate off perfectly with her nice CC combo. And this just, as I said a moment ago, it comes back to picks, 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 and knowing how to play your picks properly. Blue team has every single champion a f early to mid game champion. And they played them like early to mid game champions. The red team has champions that work fairly well throughout the entire game. And they needed to sit back and farm. Lulu does better late game. Diana is better late game. Darius is pretty good late game. And even Rengar is very strong late game. They just needed to sit back and farm. But they didn't. They took some of these fights and played a little too aggressively and just got beaten out. And it's 
not the fact that it's just one line losing. It looks like their entire team just doesn't realize how to play against that. Rengar tried to get in there with his ultimate jumping in onto Rayman, but he just riff walks away. No real damage done. He's going to try for the kill, but he does not have the damage. And he gets taken out as well. Looks like Lee Sid and Leona are there, but a flash is forced down. Diana, the ultimate from Leona coming in. Leona will pay for it. Or maybe not. Lee Sin is going to pay for it for sure. Leona is going to back away. And this should be a tower for the red team, evening up the towers at 1 to 1. And that was just being a little too greedy. Nothing more than that. Red turn does go down bottom as Braves rotates up middle. Cassidy and Riven are coming in. And this is going to be a one sided fight. Diana taken down almost instantly. Then is finished off by the Riven ultimate. Raven is going on the Lulu as Graves duels Misfortune, and Misfortune has no chance in these fights, as Graves is so ridiculously strong at this point in time. And it looks like the Red Buff will finish off him, and except Cassidy comes in here for the nice steal, making that a four for one exchange. As Leona did get taken out all throughout that, but it doesn't matter if Leona dies. If Leona's the only one dying in these team fights, that's a huge win. She has a tanky support, and she gets her combos off. As soon as she gets off her base combo, she's basically free to die. She's done her job, especially if it hits multiple people and really amplifies her team's damage up. And it looks like casted in with a big damage onto that Diana. This fortune is getting dived at Tier 3 Towers. And she will go down to this Riven in a moment, but no, the apprehend just in time. Raven does not have her ult up to finish things, and she just gets slowed a little too much. But during all this, Graves is chunking down that middle tower almost to half health. And it looks like Lee Sin goes in there with a big kick. Leona with the ultimate will not do enough. Ringar in the back lane will kill Lee Sin off, and the tower does go down, but Lulu does get taken out as well. And yeah, as I said a moment ago, this is over. It's 25 to 8, and this is just such an insurmountable lead. Especially considering you have several pretty solid characters, and no one on the red team is getting farm. If they were getting farm but still down this amount in kills, okay, I could at least see them making a chance. They're not getting any minion kills, as the lanes are pushed extremely far, with the exception of this middle lane. And yeah, Super Minions coming down. Blue team has complete control of this game. And yeah. I'm just not sure what to say at this point. There's no coming back. There's no real chance of winning. And that's just what happens when you don't play your team comp properly. Nothing more than that. It comes down to team comp, team comp, team comp. And they didn't play it correctly. They had a good idea. It just wasn't done correctly. They didn't wait for late game. Looks like their team is going to try a blue steal here. I don't know how effective it will be, but it's something. It's still a 15,000 gold lead for the blue team. As they're going to try and just push down mid. They did see Riven and Lee Sin down bottom. So Graves is here, having just completed his Phantom Dancer, and ouch, that Lulu gets chunked down. Almost killed. Lee Sin with the nice kick slows everyone. And that will be a dead. No. Wow, Lee Sin kick not doing enough damage, but here comes Cassidy on cleanup crew. And do that's what he does best. He just, he comes into, he pokes a little bit, then comes into fights late and finishes everyone off. He's definitely one of the better cleaners in this game. As he can just jump on people and really burst them down, especially if they're low health. Looks like they're not even going to, they're not even really trying to defend this bottom tower. They just kind of conceded the game at this point, and I don't blame them. They are down 21 kills, and that is a fed Cassidy. 
and a fed Graves. So Graves is, might try and dive this tower, but Castings burst is too much for even the fountain at this point. And they're going to, yes, they're going to get that kill on Cassidy. And pay for it by giving Graves a blue buff. That is an ace. 19 minutes in. Score is 33 to 11. And I don't think I need to talk about items much at this point. It is pretty much over. <laughs> Graves will go, no, he does not go down to the Ignite, keeping his perfect score at 12, 0, oh, and 11 at 20 minutes. That is pretty insane. Go, go, Graves Leona. If you haven't tried that lane, I'd really recommend it. It is very fun. It scales fairly well. And it's just so much fun when Leona lands her combo. Graves can just jump in there and absolutely burst everyone down. Riven going for the triple BF sword build of fun. Graves picking up a Bloodthirster BF sword and Phantom Dancer. Lee Sin does get taken down in the middle by getting a little too greedy. Diana might try and pick off this Riven. Riven will go down here unless they turn this, but nicely on all the stuns too. Gets in their face and absolutely clean up crew by Cassidy and Graves. Making that a four for nil, four for two exchange as Graves does finish off, picking up the quadra kill and the ace. I think the red team's just gonna surrender. Yes, there goes the surrender vote. And that was just a complete snowball. Very well played by the blue team. Not a whole lot that anyone else could do. It just came down to the fact that Graves got fed. Look at that, 12,000 gold in a little over 20 minutes. That is insane. That is just completely insane. Thank you for watching Games Cast by Panda Narill. If you wish to see more, follow my YouTube and Twitch pages below.